on everybody what's going on welcome back to another video so today i want to go over the broncos and eagles game for tomorrow at 3 25 central time 4 25 eastern time whatever you want to talk about about that but the broncos are playing the eagles tomorrow and a game that the, both teams really need to win especially the broncos because the broncos are coming off a big win against the cowboys last week shocked the world beat the cowboys and the Broncos are looking to sweep the NFC East because the Broncos beat the Giants, they beat Washington, and last week they beat Dallas. So now they're trying to go beat the Eagles, and it's in their, it's in Denver. So the, the very possibility the Broncos are sweeping the whole NFC East, and that's my prediction. That's my prediction. I think the Broncos are going to win this, this game by a score of like 24 to 13, something like that. I can see us winning by a little more. Um, I just think I think the Broncos are just a better team overall, both sides of the football. I just think the Broncos are just a better team overall, um, especially I, I like our defense better than theirs. Um, I've heard some Eagles fans say that their defensive coordinator um, sucks, and I heard some I watched some Eagles YouTube videos about their they're complaining about the defensive coordinator. Um, his name is Jonathan Gann, and they're talking they don't really like him that much. So I heard some Eagle fans saying he sucks. So. The Broncos could take advantage of that. And the Broncos got to run the ball good, man. Run the ball damn good like last week. You have a one-two punch in Belvin Gordon and Javante Williams. So I think the, I think the running game is going to be have a good game in this game. Um, there's no excuse why not to abandon the run. Like, you can't do that shit. Um, I think Javante and Melvin Gordon are going to have a pretty good game on the, on the, on the ground. Um, I, I like our chances in this game a lot. I do. Um, offensive coordinator Pat Shermer is going to miss his game because he has COVID-19. So um, our quarterback coach Mike Shula is going to be calling the game of offensive plays. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And, hey, if our offense improves, I mean, it is Pat Shermer. It is freaking Pat Shermer if Mike Shula can have a good game. It's just Shermer's stupidity. You know, I, I don't wish COVID to anybody, you know. I hope it gets better. But this might be a blessing in the sky for the Broncos because – Pat Schirmer, he's been awful most of the year. I know last week he, he called a pretty good game, um, but it took t like fucking 10 weeks to get him back calling a good plays. Like, come on, man. You know, Pat Schirmer is a veteran in this league, and he's just not been a good offensive coordinator this year. He's been he's been bad. But I do give him credit. He like, had a good game last week against the Cowboys, but it's only one game. So we'll see how um, Mike Shula calls the plays. He, he used to be the offensive coordinator for the Giants, so – he does have experience with the offensive coordinator job, so we'll see how Mike Shula does tomorrow. I think he, he's better than Shermer. So if our offense scores like freaking 30 or 40 points tomorrow, don't just give Mike Shula credit, man. But I think I think we're going to be fine this game. I think the Broncos are going to win, like I said, of a score like 24 to 13, something like that. Um, Jalen Hurts really don't scare me at all. Um, but one guy I am, I am scared of kind of about um, – is Devontae Smith? He's a good he's a good receiver, um. But we are and also our, our secondary is pretty banged up. The Broncos secondary is pretty banged up. Um, Callahan's gonna be out for um, maybe the whole year, and then Sertan he's probably gonna, he might miss tomorrow's game. He got injured like last week, so yeah, our secondary is getting sh um, shorter. But um, guys like Fuller, Kyle Fuller, and Ronald Darby have to step up, man. Fuller and Darby have had that good games. They can't get burnt, or we're gonna be in some deep shit. Um. Nate, Nate Harrison's going to be playing some. Um, Sang Bass got called up. He's coming back. He's making his return this game. So, yeah, some young guys got to step up, man. Obviously, with the two veterans and Darby and Fuller playing. But, yeah, we, it's, it's not going to be easy. We have, they have Devontae Smith. They have a pretty good receiving core. Um, they, they, have a good, they have a pretty good tight end, Dallas Goddard. Um, so, hopefully our linebackers don't get freaking toasted. But I think our linebackers are good now. Because Kenny Young's been Kenny Young's been playing his ass off. The guy's been good. Um, Baron Browning, he's been playing some good ball too. So I'm, I'm not too scared about I'm not too scared about their tight end, but because I, I like our linebackers went then better than Alexander Johnson and Josie Jewell. So that's the reason why I feel more confident in the linebacker. And also, um, Broncos are going to be without both their tackles. Oh my God, um, Garrett Bowles and Bobby Massey are out for this game. So that's a bit tough, but. Uh, Calvin Anderson, man, he, when he filled in for Garrett Bowles last week, he had a pretty damn good game, man. He played really well against the Cowboys, so my hat's off to um, Calvin Anderson, man. He had a pretty damn good game last week, filling in for Garrett Bowles at left tackle. And at right tackle, I assume it's going to be um, Cameron Fleming filling in for 
Bobby Massey, I could be wrong, but I think it's going to be Cameron Fleming at right tackle. And then Graham Glass now um, is going to be out most probably for the whole year. So rookie Quinn Miners is going to be at right guard. Then Quinn Miners, man, he, he blocked good for the running game last week. Jav um, Javante had a good, nice run because of Quinn Miners. Quinn Miners, man, the guy's the belly. The belly, man, he, he's going to be a, he's gonna be our future guard. I he's, he's really good. Quinn Miners is a beast. And, you know, I'm not really a fan. I know most of you guys probably know I'm not a fan of Glass now. I, I thought he was overpaid, and he's, just been, he's been made of Glass. So I'm not really a fan of Glass now. But it's a good opportunity for Quinn Miners now. Um, so we'll see what he has for the offer. But, yeah, the Broncos, I think, are favored by three points, two points, because they're, they're at home in Denver. So, yeah, I think they'll, I think they'll cover that. I think they'll win by more than three, hopefully. But a win's a win. I'll take a win no matter what the score is. So, yeah, I think the Broncos are going to win this game of a score of like 24 to 13, something like that. I could see us winning by a little bit more, like I said. But before I end the video, I want to call it this negative-ass fan. Most of you guys know him as Mile High 6. This guy literally has us losing. He's the most negative-ass fucking fan I've ever seen in my life, guys. This guy's negative. I'm, I'm so tired of these negative-ass fans. These negative-ass fans, even if we win, they still find ways to complain and bitch and whine and everything like that. Including Mile High 6, man. I, yeah, I'm talking to you, Mile High. I mean, this guy literally thinks we're going to lose to the Lions, too. This guy's a negative-ass fan. He, he hates players so much. He ha like he hates fucking um, Jerry Judy. He hates Teddy Bridgewater. He hates um, Justin Simmons now. Like, the guy, he, he hates so many damn players. This guy's a hater. Like, he's not a real Broncos fan if he's over here hating on players. So, little message to you, a mile high. Um, quit being a negative-ass bitch all the thing about everything, man. He thinks we're going to lose to the, the Eagles. He said the, he thinks we're going to lose, like, almost out. Like, the guy's just crazy. He says some stupid-ass shit. And I don't get it because in his video, he said the Broncos were going to win. But then on I talked to him last night, and he said, oh, the Eagles are going to win. Like, the guy changes his mind so quick. I don't know what his problem is, but you better shake it up, man. You're embarrassing Broncos country, man. You're freaking embarrassing everybody in Broncos country. Freaking being a negative-ass bitch, man. So quit being a negative-ass bitch and be a positive fan. It, this is a very winnable game. There's no excuse to lose this game. It's a very winnable game. The Broncos are better than the Eagles on paper. The Broncos are a better team, I think, my opinion. So now it's time to go out there in the field, improve it, and get a win. So we got, we got to get a win before a bye week. Um, but then after that, we put the Chargers because our remaining games are mostly divisional games. So those are must wins for the playoffs. They want to make the playoffs. So, yeah, guys, make sure you guys drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel, guys, and comment down below your thoughts on the video, guys. Thanks for watching, and let's go Broncos. I'm wearing the sock hat because it's pretty chilly outside right now. But let's go Broncos, everybody, guys, and let's get the win tomorrow, guys. Let's go Broncos, and peace out. Have a good day, guys. See you later.